text or images to a Google Doc or a Google Slide. So right here I have a blank page in my Google Slide and I want to add a text box. So I'm going to go up to the top to see this little T with the box around it. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to drag and make my text box where I want it. So I want to put title example right here. So I'm just showing you that I can put the title example. I'm going to highlight it because that font's a little bit small and I'm going to press the plus sign until it gets as big as I want it to. Now if I want to move this text box around, what I like to do is I like to make sure that it's the right size as my text so that I can move it. And then I wait until I see how it makes this like kind of T and I can move it right here. This red line shows you the middle of the page. So now I can move around my text box and I can just leave it there. So that's where I want it now. I also want to add an image. So if I go here to this little picture box up at the top, I'm going to click on the drop down menu. And if I want to add an image that I already have, I could put upload from computer. A lot of times we won't have that. Uh, you may have something in your Google Drive, but what I want to do is I just want to search the web. So I want an example image um, and I want a picture of a thunderstorm um, because right now we're talking about weather. So I'd like a picture of a thunderstorm. So I'm going to choose which picture I like the best and I can kind of scroll through all my options. Um, and I like this picture right here. So I'm going to click on it. And then at the bottom you see a button that says insert. So you go ahead and you just press insert. And now that picture is going to come up onto your screen. If you want to resize this image, go to one of the four corners and drag it. That means it's going to resize the image at the top and the sides at the same time. If you resize the image by only moving up and down, so if I move here, what's going to happen is it's going to change what the image looks like. Now for this one, it doesn't matter as much, right? So I'm going to resize this image. I'm going to put it here. But I want to show you what happens when you resize an image <clears throat> that is will be changed. So let's think of um, a famous actor. We'll say Will Smith, and I want to resize or I want to use an image of him in this picture, even though we don't really need one. So let's pick this one. That's his face. I'm going to insert it. So what I don't want to do is when I resize it. I don't want to go like this because what happens is it shrinks, it makes his face too skinny and too tall. We don't want to do that. Or if instead of resizing it like that, I'm going to press control Z so that'll fix my picture. If I use the up and down one and I resized it, it would smash his face that way and we don't want to do that. So I'm going to use it from the corner and drag to resize my images. So make sure that you're always resizing from one of the four corners and not from the sides. And that's how you add a text box and images to either a Google slide or a Google Doc.